Today's Bible study is titled All Scripture Profitable If Rightly Divided. Some often quoted verses regarding the scripture are found in 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17 KJV. Let's look beneath the hood of these verses and the setting in which they are found. All scripture, Paul tells Timothy, and us, is given by inspiration of God and is, 1, profitable for doctrine, foundational teaching, 2, profitable for reproof, that which is tested and proved, 3, profitable for correction, straightening up again, and 4, profitable for instruction, education and training, in righteousness. And the purpose of the profitable scripture in the lives of students of the word is that such may be perfect, complete, and thoroughly furnished, equipped. In this we see that, for the believer, the scripture is obviously the key to understanding what life in Christ is about. But before we go willy-nilly all over the word of truth, seeking to apply any and everything therein, we need to back up and remember what the Apostle Paul said as preface to the profitable scripture. Key to understanding the content slash intent of 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17, we find Paul qualifying the profitability of the scripture noting, Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 KJV By this instruction, we can derive that while all scripture is profitable, we can only gain the intended profit as we study in such way and are rightly dividing the word of truth. What is meant by this, you might ask. It is simple and examples of the simplicity include such as. 1. God, speaking to Noah, said, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make the an ark, Genesis 6 verses 13 to 14 KJV. But are you instructed to do this? 2. Abraham was instructed by God to, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Genesis 22 verse 2 KJV. But are you likewise instructed? 3. Another scripture a little closer to home for some and found in what is called the New Testament, is James 2 verse 24. This verse states, Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. But how does that fit Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 that says by grace through faith alone? It doesn't seem to line up and it will not unless you rightly divide the mystery gospel of grace from that of the prophetic kingdom slash circumcision gospel. Only as we rightly divide the word of truth do we recognize the simplicity many miss, namely that, while all of the scripture is for you and thereby profitable, it is not all to you, example, not all intended to be your immediate instruction or rule of faith and practice. And so, to be benefited by study of the scripture as God intends, we must learn right division to get the message he intends us to receive, believe and rest therein. Believer, learn to rightly divide the word of truth and be profited thereby. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.